Court documents show Johnny Evans was home when Vincent Smith kicked in his back door early Sunday afternoon. Smith and Charles Thompson wanted to rob Evans. When Evans got up, Smith told investigators Thompson shot him. These types of things, this is clearly a robbery at this point that we believe just went the complete wrong way. Uh, the worst possible thing happened after the robbery, which is now the homicide. After the shooting, Smith and Thompson ran out to a car. Robert Burks was waiting for them and drove them to Elizabeth Street. Shoemaker says this was not a random robbery. There was a connection. I'm not going to get into that at this point. There's no reason to believe that, um, that there was anything negative on behalf of, uh, of our victims, um, of our victim at this time, though. Evans made it to a neighbor's house and called 911, but died before he could reach a hospital. Shoemaker says Jefferson City Police arrested Burks and Smith on Tuesday. St. Louis Police arrested Thompson around noon on Wednesday. Our hearts certainly go out um, to Mr. Evans' family, and our goal in this is to bring this to a conclusion that his family can be at peace with considering the situation it is. All three suspects are charged with second-degree murder and first-degree burglary. Smith and Thompson also face charges of first-degree robbery and armed criminal action. In Jefferson City, Garrett Bergquist, KRCG 13.